a long time ago, I set my, for myself uh, the goal um, to read my Bible every single day. That was something I wanted to do. I wanted to grow closer to God. Um, and I tried different ways and different methods, devotion books and stuff, and uh, I settled into a habit of reading my Bible every morning. Um, I tried to do it at night, but I would forget or I'd be too tired. And um, So I found that the morning just works the best for me. And so I would read my Bible every single morning. Um, and in my house, uh, my wife works in the morning. And so I, uh, I, I do mornings. You know, I get the boys up and I make breakfast and all that kind of stuff. Um, and for a long time, I had a rhythm. You know, I, I used to use devotion books, but then I found it really rewarding to just read a chapter of the Bible every morning. Um, but then couple of weeks ago, um, our morning schedule changed. It, you know, it shifted a little bit. So my rhythm got thrown off. Uh, one of my boys started sleeping in later than normal. Um, and I'm not complaining. That's wonderful. But I, <laughs> I, um, it threw me off. And so I missed reading my Bible that day. And then the next day. And then for a week. Week and a half two weeks. And then this morning, after I think two and a half, maybe three and a half weeks of not reading my Bible and not getting into the Word, um, I just kind of shook myself. And I was like, oh, I really, I miss it. I want to get back into, you know, that daily regular practice. Um, and so finally this morning, I, I said, all right, it's a new schedule. It's a new system. It's a new rhythm. And I just had to find the way to do it again. And so I've sort of recommitted myself to getting back into that. And, um, I guess I tell that story to sort of highlight, we started this year by talking with with a lot more facial hair and talking about um, resolutions, you know, New Year's resolutions and goals and trying to, and I threw out the challenge, get to church every single Sunday this year in 2020. And some of you, I mean, we're two, three weeks into February and you have uh, missed every Sunday so far. And I'm not saying that to make you feel bad. I'm saying, all right, you know, we need to find a new rhythm. The rhythm that we have been using so far. I, I feel like vigilance is not always being perfect and always being on top of things. Vigilance is as we slide, you know, as we get comfortable and then we shake ourselves and we get back on target. Um, it's not that you'll never get comfortable. It's not that you'll never fall into a rut, get into a routine. You just have to shake yourself and get back into it. Uh, and so I hope my example of messing up with my personal devotions can kind of inspire you. You know, shake yourself, get back on it. Um, recommit yourself. Don't give up. You know, don't, don't look at it and say, well, it's hopeless. It's not hopeless. You just need a new rhythm. You need a new way um, to recommit to whatever your goal was. Uh, all right, you guys have a great day.